with it, it's dinner time and time for another creative dinner using Stampin' Up! products. Hello, my name is Kathy Haney and today we're going to be making this cute little buckle card. Now this is a very simplified version of a really cute card folding technique and a friend of mine, Lana, sent me this gorgeous card and you'll see how the mechanism comes up with it. Isn't that adorable? And it has a slot here and then inside is the sentiment. And this buckle here goes into the hole and creates the buckle, which I thought was so, so cute. But I didn't have that snapping up slot punch and I'm not sure how many of my customers have it. So I thought, what can I do to make, simplify it so that anybody could make the card? And although I love this technique where the top part comes along and makes it look like a buckle, I thought this would be a great and easy tutorial. So this is my version. It's simply, this comes out of there. There is no slot, the mechanism where the buckle part stays there and you open it and there's the card. And how this works is there is a mini dimensional here, 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 and here. So this just slides, it's popped up and that slides in between it. So isn't that simple? So let's go ahead and get started and see how easy it is to make this modified buckle. Let's say simple buckle card. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is use the Dragonfly Garden stamp set or the bundle. And here is the matching punch. Now I've gone ahead and stamped already the dragonfly, which I will call a butterfly in this video because I always do. And I already stamped on because we're going to be using this ombre paper from the last celebration. And this was free with a $50 order and I still have tons left. So I've been using it, trying to use it up. And just to remind you that you only have, I think, nine days left. Celebration ends September 30th. So if you already don't, if you don't already have your catalog, um, click on the link below, hop over to my shop and take a look. And there's so many items in here that you can get absolutely, whoops, absolutely free with a $50 order. Now I'm gonna be posting this week using the sheep. Here's more free paper. This goes with the penguin set and there's just so much, but I'm gonna be doing the counting sheep. Now I own goats, but these sheep are just as adorable. And I'm also using the dies. So for a $50 order, I got this one. And for another $50 order, I got the dies. So I'm excited that card's gonna be really cute. So be sure to hit the notification, well, like and subscribe and hit the notification bell button. It's a little bell and you'll be notified each time I upload a video so you'll know when I do the sheep um, video. So it's gonna be really cute. So again, when there's free paper, the stamping up paper is really amazing. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and stamped the dragonfly on to the ombre paper. So the designer series paper. And you could also just stamp it on cardstock, basic white cardstock and color it in, but I chose to do it with the matching ombre designer series paper. And then I just kind of livened it up by coloring in a few areas with my blends. So let me go ahead and do that. Very simple. You know, you decide how much color you want to add, or you do the white one and add color to the whole thing. This just saves steps. I'm a step saver. And go here. Isn't this adorable? So there you go. Then I did his body. Her body, maybe. Hmm? There we go. We have a dragonfly. So then the next thing I did was I had these I don't know, gems. They're called something gems in the catalog. And I picked one and used it for the head. So now I have my butterfly. See, I told you my dragonfly. Now I always cut into it just a little bit to give it a little bit of dimension. 
and I always recommend you double up. So I'm just going to put this one underneath it so it has, I'll do this side, just so it has extra wing to make it kind of flutter like Luana's did. All right, and so I'm just going to put a drop of Tombow right there. Let me grab my Tombow. I kind of want a lot of it to stick. I mean, the smart thing would be to do the two of the same color, but this will work. Okay, I'm going to put that aside to dry. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to do is start to build our card. I'm going to take the two foil pieces, and these are the silver foil sheets. Okay, so I've got two of them. The sizes are listed below, and just like with in Lana's, I wanted the silver to barely peek out. So the layering on this is done in eighths instead of quarters. So I'll have the, it listed below, but I only cut an eighth of an inch. So this is a sixteenth of an inch frame. Does that make sense? So I'm going to take one of my pieces of the foil and I'm going to adhere my top piece, the ombre. So I'm going to find how I like it, a piece of the wrong size. So I'm going to put this one right here. And this will be for the left side. So I had to cut down the one, I must have cut it the wrong size. Okay. And I like to use combo on foil to make sure it sticks because foil is non-porous so sometimes it's harder to get something to stick on it. Alrighty. And then I'm going to cut this one down just a bit. Yeah, I cut that. So right about that one. So I'll get a good cut. going to be what it's going to be. Here we go. And not perfect, but it'll do and make the edge look as good as it can. Okay. So your pieces should be cut correctly with the dimensions below. Then I'm going to go ahead and if you see the buckle is glued under this piece right here. So here's my buckle. The dimensions are below and I've scored it at a half inch. So I'm going to tombow that up and then I'm going to set this out to dry for one second while I hop over and get the right piece of paper for the top here because that's going to bother me. I'm back. So, I'm going to peel this one off. Is there a mistake in every video? Yes, until I learn how to edit. So this is basically live. Okay, that's much better. So now I have my flap on it, so I can bend it over and crease it really good with my bone folder. Tip it over, put glue on the back, and then I'm going to adhere it to my base, which is scored at five and a half. Let me grab my scoring board. Now, this scoreboard is amazing. I tried someone else's scoreboard recently, and then I remembered why I like my scoreboard so much. So I'm going to put it in longwise, and I'm going to score, and it comes with a tool, but I can, you can use a bone folder too, score at five and a half. And this is the Stampin' Up! scoreboard. So trust me, <laughs> I thought there'd be no difference, and there is a lot of difference. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there, turn it this way. 
Then this piece that I've glued and luckily Tombow gives you grace, I'm going to put right there on the edge. So now I have my flap. All right, now I'm gonna glue the top of my flap on. This is such an easy card, folks. Okay, and line that up. Then I want my sentiment on the inside. So I'm simply going to snap with Memento. May good things grow all year long. I like that. So this can be for so many reasons this card and I'm going to glue that to the inside Now, some of you like to stand your Tombow up so you would hate doing this but I put a little gem so I know whose Tombow it is leaving the workshop okay that's the inside of the card what do you, card what do you think isn't that simple now we're gonna build this side. So we've already glued this piece down. I've got a bubble. Now we're gonna glue it to the front for regals. And just center it, make sure it lines up. Even if you were a little bit higher on one side or the other, for the view, you want both these sides to line up as closely as possible. All right. So now, with our ornate frames, which I love this die set, you have to have it. I mean, it goes all the way to the big ones. I'm gonna go ahead and I've cut a smaller piece. I'm gonna glue this to my, isn't this easy? So for when you cut things wrong. Right. Now here's um, where I'm gonna go ahead and add my dragonfly. So we have our dragonfly over here. I'm gonna pop him up, give him a little bit of dimension. And because you have the two layers, it just makes it look so much better. But I want to put my foil or my silver twine behind it. So this is the way I found is the easiest way to do this is to take a strong tape like Stampin' Steel, it's not steel, Stamping Seal, okay, and just put a strip where you want that tape to go or where you want that twine to go. Then you're going to take a piece and wrap it around your fingers. My fingers are dirty now. Hmm. So I'm gonna wrap around three fingers because the dragonfly is kind of big. And get something going here. Well, actually you don't even have to wrap it around your fingers. That was the old way. This way, it's so much easier. You just simply bend it how you want it to go. And push. I think that looks good. Now I'm gonna pop this up on a dimensional. Let me grab my dimensional. Wipe my hands. I have glue on them. All right. So I'm gonna put the dimensional right there. And then I'm gonna take my dragonfly and give him a home. There we go. So I have my twine behind it. You can leave that piece. You can cut it off however you want to do it. Now you're going to tip it over and you're going to use the mini glue dots or you can cut your larger glue dots in half. So in case you don't have minis, because I can't find mine right here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it right in half. And I'm going to put half on one side half on the other. All right. And like I said, how I did it before, it was mini here and mini there. And I'm gonna line this up and press. 
Okay, so that's all there is to this. Now you just stick this in here and it will fit between those blue dots. And then the last thing I did is I took some metal dots because I thought it would really add something to this side. Since it is a buckle, he just reminded me of a belt. And put my three. And what do you think? Is that not simple? Is You could make a ton of these in no time at all. So if you're going to do a Christmas card, and maybe I'll do one later, um, this would be a great way to mass produce a really cute Christmas card. You know, I'm thinking Santa Claus with red and white and a black belt. So what do you think? Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos this week. I'll be getting out. I'm trying to catch up. So once again, thank you for joining me on another creative journey using Stampin' Up! products. And I hope that you'll like and subscribe and hop over to my site, journeytime.stampinup.net. And there is a link in the description below. Have a great day.